Advances in medicine and agriculture have saved vastly more lives than have been lost in all the wars in history. The significance of a finding that there are other beings who share this universe with us would be absolutely phenomenal. It would be an epochal event in human history. At the heart of science is an essential balance between two seemingly contradictory attitudes, an openness to new ideas, no matter how bizarre or counterintuitive they may be, and the most ruthless skeptical scrutiny of all ideas, old and new. This is how deep truths are winnowed from deep nonsense. For myself, I like a universe that includes much that is unknown and, at the same time, much that is knowable. A universe in which everything is known would be static and dull, as boring as the heaven of some weak-minded theologians. A universe that is unknowable is no fit place for a thinking being. The ideal universe for us is one very much like the universe we inhabit. And I would guess that this is not really much of a coincidence. In a lot of scientists, the ratio of wonder to skepticism declines in time. That may be connected with the fact that in some fields, mathematics, physics, some others, the great discoveries are almost entirely made by youngsters. It is the tension between creativity and skepticism that has produced the stunning and unexpected findings of science. Our passion for learning is our tool for survival. The cure for a fallacious argument is a better argument, not the suppression of ideas. The fact that some geniuses were laughed at does not imply that all who are laughed at are geniuses. They laughed at Columbus, they laughed at Fulton, they laughed at the Wright brothers. But they also laughed at Bozo the Clown. If the dinosaurs had had a space program, they would not be extinct. The job is by no means done. We will look for the boundary between the solar system and the interstellar medium, and then we'll voyage on forever in the dark between the stars. We make our world significant by the courage of our questions and the depth of our answers. For me, it is far better to grasp the universe as it really is than to persist in delusion, however satisfying and reassuring. Imagination will often carry us to worlds that never were, but without it we go nowhere. I consider it an extremely dangerous doctrine, because the more likely we are to assume that the solution comes from the outside, the less likely we are to solve our problems ourselves. We can judge our progress by the courage of our questions and the depth of our answers, our willingness to embrace what is true rather than what feels good. Every kid starts out as a natural-born scientist, and then we beat it out of them. A few trickle through the system with their wonder and enthusiasm for science intact.
We are like butterflies who flutter for a day and think it is forever. I don't want to believe. I want to know. Frederick Douglass taught that literacy is the path from slavery to freedom. There are many kinds of slavery and many kinds of freedom, but reading is still the path. The truth may be puzzling. It may take some work to grapple with. It may be counterintuitive. It may contradict deeply held prejudices. It may not be consonant with what we desperately want to be true. But our preferences do not determine what's true. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Extinction is the rule. Survival is the exception. It is far better to grasp the universe as it really is than to persist in delusion, however satisfying and reassuring. I can find in my undergraduate classes, bright students who do not know that the stars rise and set at night, or even that the sun is a star. The universe is not required to be in perfect harmony with human ambition. Skeptical scrutiny is the means, in both science and religion, by which deep thoughts can be winnowed from deep nonsense. If we long to believe that the stars rise and set for us, that we are the reason there is a universe, does science do us a disservice in deflating our conceits? Science is not only compatible with spirituality, it is a profound source of spirituality. The universe seems neither benign nor hostile, merely indifferent.